It's very important to have that discussion on a global level because if one country merely tries to do something, what we have learned in 2008 and thereafter is that no country is an island and therefore the effects in one will be felt in the other. And what we need to guard against not only is countries putting in place the right policies for themselves, but also ensuring that in doing so they don't screw some other country in the process. That's the danger. If it doesn't happen, you end up with a beggar thy neighbour policy. You end up with a race to the bottom. You end up with each country trying to take advantage of a situation at somebody else's expense. And once that begins, you literally start on a downward spiral. We do, it happens with jobs, it happens with wages, it'll happen with living standards, it will happen with educational standards. Because if your only criteria becomes who can produce it cheapest, then you are in deep trouble. My goal here is to make sure that the speakers and the delegates and that everybody involved doesn't get a nasty attack of waffleitis. That they don't just go round and round in circles with platitudinal statements that nobody can disagree with. They have to say something. They have to nail colours to the mast. They have to take positions. They have to say what in their experience works and what doesn't. They have to be held accountable for their views because otherwise all you end up with is a huge amount of UN fudge.